In this video, we walk you through how to get started with the LPP2 series laser beam profiler. We strongly recommend that you keep the box and the contents together so that you can easily identify which component belongs to the LBP2 system. When you first open the box, carefully review the contents. The camera requires a special attention. The sensor is directly exposed to air to minimize the unwanted interference pattern when viewing the laser beam profiles. Make sure that either the protection cap or filter is always mounted on the CCD. Hold the camera upside down when removing or replacing any filter so that dust would not fall on the CCD. Use compressed air gently, not your breath, to dust off the detector if necessary. Never leave the detector exposed for a long period of time. Insert the CD into the CD player. An installation CD is included with each LBP system. Go to www.newport.com, find the LBP2 product webpage, and check if there is a new version available. Use the latest version available for the particular model. If the computer is set up to autoplay CDs, the Newport software auto-install screen will appear. If you don't see the option, simply go to the directory under the CD-ROM and double-click amplayer.exe file. Click on the Software Install button and follow the directions that appear on the screen. Once you successfully install the LBP2 software, you are ready to use the system. Connect the camera to the computer using the USB cable that came with the product and start the LBP2 software application. On local directory, you see the camera type and the serial number recognized by the software.